In this lesson, we'll cover viewing the model in 3D. So outside of details being in 2D, everything you create in Revit is a three-dimensional element, meaning you could look at the different sides, the top, the bottom, the ceiling, the underneath, the right, the left, or your elevations, or you can make slices through the model. For example, I'm looking at a 3D representation of this building, the structural elements of it. In the project browser in the lower left, if you scroll down, you'll have a grouping for 3D views. 3D in brackets is this default view. It's the same if you go to the quick launch bar at the very top of your screen and click default 3D view. You're presented with this actual view. There's also another 3D view, 3D view AM. If you double click that, it'll show this 3D representation. So you can make different three dimensional views. The view controls are on the view tab on the ribbon. On the view tab, you have a 3D view icon where you can click default 3D view and generate a new 3D view. I can also save that view as well too by creating the view. Now once you're in the view and you want to actually maneuver around, you can do several things. One is you can hold the wheel on your mouse down and that'll pan. You can roll the wheel on the mouse and that will zoom in or zoom out. You can also hold the shift key on your keyboard and hold the wheel and this will allow you to rotate or pivot the model. Now you can also use the view cube in the upper right. Clicking on any side of the view cube, the right, the left, the front or the back, or the top or the bottom will rotate your model to view that actual side of the view cube. You can also click an edge of the view cube. Clicking an edge will change the model to view that edge or that perspective of the actual model. Click a corner of the view cube and you'll rotate to see that angle or projection. You can also use the little circle holding the left mouse button down on it and pivot this actual cube which pivots your model. To get your Revit model back to its default location, if you move your mouse over the view cube and pause, you'll see a little home button or a little house appear to its upper left. Clicking that will return the actual Revit model back to that default 3D view. So as a review in this lesson, we looked at creating 3D views. We looked at navigation of 3D views. We looked at using the mouse controls to maneuver around within your 3D view to see different sides, the top, the bottom, the right, and the left. We also looked at using the view cube in the upper right to rotate your model as well. 